Hello church family and welcome to Thursday the 16th of April. It's been a bit of a cooler day today. I hope uh, you've enjoyed a bit of the change in the weather and I hope that you're finding things to keep yourself occupied. Uh, for those of you who are still working, uh, not on school holidays, I hope that today was a productive day at work. Well, it is this time of the day. It's time for our daily psalm uh, with this book, My Rock and My Refuge, Psalms and Reflections, uh, written by Timothy and Kathy Keller. And today we are finishing up, well, actually the middle section of Psalm 50. So Psalm 50, verses 7 to 15. Listen, my people, and I'll speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I bring no charges against you concerning your sacrifices or concerning your burnt offerings, which are even bef which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your store or for, of goats from your pens, for every animal in, if, of the forest is mine and the cattle on the thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountain and the insects in the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thanked offerings to God, fulfill your vows to the Most High, and call on me in the day of your trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honour me. Superficial Religion God rebukes his people for two things. The first is external religiosity without inward heart change. Verses 8-13 to 13 show people who think their worship offerings are somehow doing God a favour. This is moralism, the idea that our ethical life and religious observance can put God in our debt so that he owes us things. On the contrary, grateful joy to, for our undeserved free salvation should, not, uh, should be motivation or motivating all we do. Examine your hearts. Do you feel God owes you a better life? Do you obey him because you feel you have to in order to get what you want? Or out of loving wonder for what he has done? Let us pray. Lord, I cannot give you anything without remembering that both that both the thing I am giving you and even the desire to give it to you are both from you anyway. I can never put you in my debt. Because of what Jesus did, I am not my own. I am brought at a price. Let the insight rid me of all grumbling and self-pity. Amen. Have a great evening and I'll catch you tomorrow.